Becoming a parent is a life-changing event. We road test five first-time parents on the toughest... I miss you, Mum. I'm nice to you, and you're just a bastard to me. Funniest. It's like, get off of you, punch in the face. Glenn's going, Ooh, help, Ooh. <laughs> Most confronting ride of their lives... My mummy strokes. I'm a very understanding husband. ..as they share the first four months of life after birth. Aren't you supposed to be on Baby Watch? Yeah, and she's fine. Oh. Tonight, it's hard labour for a dad to be. Oh. A capsule conundrum. What roof? And heartbreak for a new mum. I always said, like, money was always the biggest issue, and here it is. Pushing me in the face. <laughs> Business dynamos Kiri and Damien met at a nightclub four years ago. Oh, God, oh this is God. a man's job, honey. What are you doing down there? Despite a nine-year age gap, the couple quickly found common ground in their Greek heritage. Uh, what is this? Is this the... It wasn't very long before I moved in with you. It's pretty much <laughs> straight away, so... We got happily married uh, this year in Santorini, which was wonderful. The wedding was beautiful. It was um, small to 65 people, just family and friends, and we made it happen. Yeah. Dreams came true. Now Kiri has her heart set on a dream birth. I would love it for him to, to you know, to really, like, pull the baby out and put her on, on my chest, and I would love that experience. I want to be on the sideline. I don't want the bird's eye view, and... Um... Yeah, I'll be right next to you, babe, and uh, squeezing your hand and patting you down, and, yeah, I'll be there. We've been talking about having kids for a long time, so I think it'll bring us even closer together. <laughs> How's that, babe? That's beautiful. You like that? <laughs> and there's a bouncy ball there. You go round and round like this. And it's good to have a leader, Kiri's mum, to uh, give us a hand. And, um, yeah, we're just going through the motions. That's it. Really hurts? Yeah. Where's the gas? Do you want the gas? <laughs> just let me know if you need anything, babe. If there's pain there, I can rub it down. Ooh. Just did that little magic touch, gave her a massage, and she's back in the bathroom. I think her body's just gone really crazy, um, freaking out. And I think it's going to get even more... Intense. I'm just get it ready for you, babe. Have some gas. As Damien takes a few snaps, ex midwife Alita ah. takes over. Ow! Oh. Oh. When Harry met Marty, they were both working in the hospitality industry. The party couple didn't expect to be together two years later, let alone expecting a baby. If we hadn't gotten pregnant, we would probably quite happily have never spoken to each other again. I think that's a lie. I think we would have spoken again, but we would have been separate. The couple yes. broke yes. up two months before uh, Harry discovered she was pregnant. Basically just... Assholes. Well, there you are. She was getting ready to be a single mum when Marty made a radical move. I resigned from my job in Canberra. It was a tough decision, but I, um, something that had to be done. And I've moved in here with Harry. Whether or not that'll last, that's a different story. Hello! Come on, me man. <laughs> I gave it a face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared of what's happening to me uh, and to my life. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm more worried that when push comes to shove, if he and I need to say a final goodbye, that we won't do it, because there's nothing that fucks up a kid more than a dysfunctional relationship between the parents, right? So we're in recovery and we're at the moment. There's the mum. Hi, Mum. There's baby. She's a bit hungry at the moment. So she was born this morning. How gorgeous is she? This clips in up there. Don't clip it onto the other strap. Clip it into the roof. In into the roof? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> what roof? You mean this roof? Yeah, the roof of the... Car? This. Sorry. <laughs> the other roof. <laughs> 
So you have to put the baby on board, stick her on. I did see that. <laughs> yeah. Now we're one of those guys. Yeah. People are gonna look at our car and go, why? No yeah. one cares. <laughs> Astronauts going up into space aren't quite as well protected as these things are. Hello. Come on, sweetheart. Home sweet home. Trainee surgeon Alan and school teacher Jennifer have been together for eight years. He's Vietnamese American and she's from Taiwan. The thing that scares me the most about being a parent is losing my freedom. I have pretty much no experience with babies that aren't sick. I find it very difficult not to think of worst case scenarios. But Alan is forced to face his worst fears when Jennifer has to have an emergency caesarean and he's left holding the baby. I haven't had this class yet, okay? I don't know how to do this. Mommy's gonna be here very soon. At least Daddy hopes Mommy will be here soon. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Don't strain your tummy, okay? He just wants a feed, I think. Before attempting a feed, Jennifer's milk needs to be stimulated with some skin to skin. But these first-timers aren't quite sure what happens next. I don't know. Just wait. Just as you'll come back. She'll come back. I'll put him... Um, I'll put him... Uh, actually, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. <laughs> I'm super excited, but mostly just scared. It still feels surreal. I can't believe I just had a baby. You don't mind if I help you to latch him? Mm -hmm. Come on, mister. One of the most important things you can do for a newborn baby is ensure that, that they're breastfed. Oh, With Jennifer seriously laid up, Alan takes charge. No. Nope. Nice falling asleep. Yeah. Let's keep him warm. Get that ready there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Big mouth. Big mouth. He is, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I, that that thing where you said, like you said, uh, we I touched the corner of his mouth and he like reaches over and grabs at it. He started doing that. Yep. But and now he's sucking. Holy mm -hmm. crap! Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm out of a job now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> Over in the birthing suite, Kiri is still laboring hard. And the stress is taking its toll. That's it, darling. Oh! I can't do these while coming. Do you feel like you want to push? You do? Okay. Oh. Uh. Good. Uh. Do it again. One more for us, Kiri. Come on, you can Come. do it. It's yeah. now. I think it's a beautiful thing that we brought into this world, and we just got to make sure that we one big happy family. And they all pour in, eager to meet the baby they've named Matisse Lily. We've got Lily. Lily. Matisse Lily. It is a Matisse Lily. Before I decide on Lily as the middle name, I'll just Google Matisse Lily, and then all these. Lily's popped up, names from the tea lilies. Isn't that funny? Growing up, I never wanted to marry a Greek. I thought, no way, <laughs> no way. <laughs> but you love it, absolutely love it. I love his family. <laughs> For Damien, presenting Matisse to his mother is his crowning moment. Your day has come, huh? Your day has come. Get married, have kids, get married, have kids. We've heard that for 20 years. <laughs> Happy mum? You happy? The happy chaos continues as they escort Kiri from the birthing suite. Are we all fit? 
So she's got to get used to having her family around. She'll have family around for the next meeting. Yeah, what button? They probably won't let you all in. In our relationship, definitely Kira will be looking after the kids. Let's get some quality time with mummy. Get some rest and relax. Take it easy. Good to see the whole family from Kiri's side come up from Canberra. In the Greek tradition, we're all one big family now. Congratulations, grandfather. Congratulations. That's rock song. You've got to thank Jimmy too. Jimmy. It's been four days since Jennifer's caesarean birth and breastfeeding continues to be a struggle. I had to stop breastfeeding because it was bleeding so bad and with the cracked nipples, mm. it's painful. But a much bigger challenge lies ahead. My mother is coming to help out with the baby, but really I think she's here for what we call, in the Taiwanese culture, what we call the postpartum confinement, where I'm not allowed to go out for a whole month and all I do during the 30 days is just to rest and do nothing at home and just eat. I don't shower, I don't wash my hair. But the couple are already conspiring to buck the system. Uh, maybe don't tell your mom that they're going to take you for a shower this morning. Yeah, I'm not going to take... tell you. <laughs> this is a bit scary heading home. This is like the last bastion of security before, you know, we're leaving midwives, we're... We're leaving nurses, we're leaving lactation consultants, and all we've got is us and your mom. I am going to shower every day. When it comes to my mother-in-law, I think uh, it's going to be very, it's going to be a big diplomatic nightmare. So your mom wants to buy food already, all that confinement stuff already. Yeah, it needs to start today. Oh, jeez. You can't leave the apartment. Oh, she got really angry. I have a feeling that in the end, I'm not really going to have much say. Yeah. Especially if Jennifer is going to cave in right away. It's going to be a tight squeeze at home, with Jennifer's sister Janice, her partner Baden, and mother Tina all staying in the one bedroom apartment. I am a first grand mom, so I come to here and uh, yeah, uh, visit her and uh, take care of her, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Mm. He's loving. <laughs> He's super very sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mama milk candy. Mama milk candy. She just got it. She's not giving it up. Tina seems keen for her second daughter to get some practice holding a newborn. And she wastes no time in laying down the law about the confinement menu. I have to eat congee, you have yeah, to eat congee, with yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why do I need to eat congee? I don't want to eat congee. Because there's no more food for you. Hey now. Friends with Baden. <laughs> Jennifer explains her breastfeeding woes. Tina's more determined than ever to get Jennifer into her confinement regime. Confinement is about restoring a mother's strength after they've given birth, keeping the right body temperature and not catching colds or flus. Okay. It seems the modern young mum has bowed to tradition. 23-year-old childcare worker Charlene and 22-year-old apprentice mechanic Reese fell into a relationship by happy accident. Turns out I was the one night stand that wouldn't leave. Charlene doesn't let me live it down. She tells everyone that. Well, I'm you didn't. Sure, I'm pretty sure she's told my boss that. <laughs> Two years later, they had another little accident. And it was disgusting but beautiful at the same time. Like, 
blood everywhere, but at the same time, my little baby boy being born into the world. But they're going to be doing it tough, surviving on Reese's apprentice wage. On the way home, they need to stop in at Centrelink to drop off some paperwork. Uh, the paperwork is for paid parental leave, and so I can get paid my 18 weeks parental leave from work, and so Reese can get his dad leave pay, which is two weeks. Two weeks to spend with you. I just want to bite your face. Charlene and Reese are so smitten with their little bundle that they decide to lash out on a photo shoot. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get you over here. Isaac's due date was actually the 26th of January, which is actually Australia Day. I was saying that he was going to come out with a mullet, a can of EB, a wife beater. He's my bogan. I, <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. I can't even explain it. It's such an indescribable feeling being a parent. He looks so chill. I love it. It's cool. I want to know how he is back there. He's I can't fun. see him. He's chilling. See, now I know why mothers He's, sit back there. He's not crying. Now I know He's why. He's not crying. But it doesn't cry. It's so exciting. Like, I am seriously thrilled. Hi, Bobby. Remember how to use it? Now, if apprentice mechanic Reese can just get the pram on the road. And break it to the. No. It's going to be flipped over, eh? I think you should be fine the other way. No, he's meant to face that way so you can see him. It's like childproof. First time parent problems. Don't know how to put the pram together. Don't know how to work the pram. No judgment. We're just going to sit and chill, watch Daddy do this. Alan is also finding the pram a puzzle. I have no idea. What is this? And everyone's getting overheated. It's a 30 degree day, and under Tina's confinement, aircon is not allowed. Take the pants off. He's too hot. Just take the pants off. Janice? She does. Be weird. No, he's hot. Oh, I think hot. he's hot. Oh, that's Justin. No. Oh, that one. Oh, 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 Clean this. Uh, keep pushing up butter. Choose fruit, milk or fruit. I just want to make sure about the right person. Power no button for three. <laughs> just wait for the beep. It should beep. <laughs> uh, what if we got sterilized? <laughs> Is it? Did it just beep? <laughs> okay, lift it up. Careful. I think it's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, wait, no. Feel the bottom. Feel the bottom. Uh, inside of your wrist, they said inside. inside. Uh, can you feel it? That's perfect. It's mission accomplished. Awesome. Well, this is like the first full day. Finally, Team Caden can relax, and Jennifer and Alan get their first taste of life in confinement. Why is this good to eat? I don't know. I have to ask Mum. Is the red bean can warm up her body and restore it? Energy. Yeah. Have you tried that? Yeah, yeah. Taste and it. I've smelled it. That's that's enough. Mm -hmm. I sipped it and I smelled it. You don't like red beans? <laughs> Never again. This household is not set up for this many people to eat at the oh. same time. Yeah. yeah, this apartment is actually for two people. <laughs> <laughs> Over in the Centrelink car park. Oh, you're yeah. so clever. Okay. I told you, I remember we worked well. at some kidney boy. See, look at the headdress. Big day for you, Bubba. Being out and about in public with Bub and Grace. It's fun. We're like family. It's cute. It's like pretend play, but real. It's going to be a tight budget, but money can only get better from here, so I think we'll be fine. But all the young battlers get out of Centrelink is their first oh, reality know. check. Oh, no, on the forms. I don't give a shit what the forms says right now. I can't do anything about it. They just said, like, that we have three weeks to process your proof of birth, OK? <laughs> oh, Bobby. I always said, like, money was always the biggest issue, and here it is, punching me in the face. <laughs> so I always said I wanted to be able to give my kid what he wanted. I can't. 
Okay. It breaks my heart. I hate seeing her upset when it's something that I can't fix. Like it just kills me inside. Like yeah. I'm sorry, Boo Boo. Yeah, buddy, we'll be home soon. By the time they get home, Reese has come up with a solution. Are you okay with me just having a week off work? Yeah, then... no, 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 I'm oh. fine with that. Like, I'd like you to have more because I'd like you to spend more time with him, but I'm okay. <laughs> First time she's seen son. Kiri has high hopes for her new life with baby Matisse. Welcome home, baby. I'm a stay-at-home mum, which is really exciting because for the last 10 years I've run a business with my best friends um, since the age of 17, so it was full on. So I'm just enjoying this relaxing time of my life. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. Oh, what are we going to do now? <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> I think we can pop a bottle of champagne. Hey. Yeah. Got any left or did you... You partied all the way yesterday. Yeah. Special one for special girl. <laughs> Daddy's bone. Daddy's used bone to again. Noise, Hello. Get used to it. She already Give knows it. Tell her I'll be there, be there in five bum, minutes. Bum, 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 Thank bum. you. Bye. I'll just leave you do your thing, okay? Okay, thanks, Woody. You go, yep. Right? Yep. You did well today. Thanks, babe. See you, beautiful. I'm going to see you tonight. I'm going to spend lots of time with you tonight. Damien will bond when he gets home. He'll be fine. He'll he'll come home and spend lots of time with her. And he just works around, you know, in the area. I'm sure he'll drop in a lot more now, knowing that she's here. But he'll he'll never stop working really hard. That's you know, it's part of Damien. He's <laughs> he can't stop. But I just can't take my eyes off her. <gasps> boo boo. And Marty can't take his eyes off baby Katie. Ooh. It seems she's brought the warring couple back together. He's been really, really good. He was wonderful during the labour, um, as much as he could be, as much as any man can be. She's even scored her dad's surname. The theory is that if things work out between us and we eventually decide to make it official, then we'll all have the same name which I was pretty blown away by when he said that. Pretty much come back from the brink, haven't we? You and I? Yes, yes we have. Yes we have. While Marty's pulling his weight, one member of the family who's not sharing the baby bliss is his cat, Zeke. I can hear a fat cat. So he's not allowed in the bedroom anymore because he's discovered that he can get into the bassinet. We're just going to see how he goes. If it doesn't work out, he'll be going back to Marty's sister. There's a boy. There's a good boy. Cheers. Well done, darling. Congratulations. She looks like she's about to lose her shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. I've got her. I'm not scared so much anymore. Now that she's here and, you know, she's just a tiny wee thing, but she's not as fragile as she looks. OK. Come here, sweetheart. He's amazing. He's completely in love with her. I'm pretty happy. I seem to be able to calm her down quite quickly when she's upset. I'm feeling very, very protective. And it's just as well. Later that night, Marty finds himself in a battle for the feeding chair. Take off. Off. No. Oh, On a scale of 1 to 10, the pain of childbirth was about 100. I could just get tattoos on my face <laughs> and do anything after childbirth. I thought, I'm a strong girl, so I can I manage. Yep. And then when, when it hit me, I was like, I can't do this. I cannot do this. You know this is unbearable. Like Glenn uploaded movies for me and put them on the TV. I fell asleep a few times oh and had a God. nap. Right. It was painful, yeah. but I really can't remember. The pain. Damien meant really well, but he just had no idea of what was happening. He just stood there and was like, oh my God, give me the gas, give me the gas. <laughs> poor thing, like, you know, I poor, poor thing. thing. Yeah. I didn't get scared. I don't think I did get scared. I was just, it was a delicate process holding her, but um, 
No, I didn't get scared at all. As soon as I see Caden, actually like alien style, half in, half out, it's a, a wave of relief to know that baby's out. I was really shocked. I was like, this can't be my baby. He is so ugly. Oh. Oh Do you get the whole look like that's who you are? Like, I know who you are sort of a look? No. I got that look, like, yeah. you're my mummy, you're who I've been listening to the whole time. Like, that was a moment that I w always remember. I feel like I belonged to something, like, kind of thing. Like, I, I've got my family, you know, that's, that's mine. You have made it, kind of thing. And like, it just feels like, like that's your home, kind of thing. When I first looked at her, I was uh, overwhelmed, really. I wasn't sure if I was ready for it. I wasn't sure if I was mature enough. I didn't, I wasn't sure if it was the great, right decision. Um, but, uh, yeah, that all went by the wayside as soon as I looked into her, looked at her. It's, uh, it was amazing. When she looked at me for the first time, I was just totally in shock. I remember talking to her and I think I apologised for, Aww. you know, the misery that we were going to put her through over the next 20 years. Is that your first child? Yeah, first one, yeah, that I know of. <laughs> 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 She's just really grumpy. Yeah. Maybe we should try and put her back on the boob. After a honeymoon homecoming for Harry and Marty, baby Katie decides to test their patience. Get her out of that. I don't think she wants to eat. But Marty has the magic touch. OK, maybe I'll just stand like this for the next half an hour. Don't move. <laughs> Well, breastfeeding is fun, I guess, especially if you have a partner that doesn't let you hold your baby. It's been an exhausting morning. May I have another lay your lunch out? No. Shall I put some soup on? Yes. <coughs> but Marty manages to get his second wind. Come on, sweetheart. And so does baby Katie. <laughs> Going ginger. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be lovely. <sighs> yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble now. I was meant to be cooking lunch. Sorry, love. I was meant to cook lunch. Well, you do most of the mothering. I know that I shouldn't be feeling a bit left out, but I feel like I missed out a little bit when we had our labour because I didn't get that first hour with her. And then I wasn't able to look after her for the first couple of days because I was recovering and I was too ill. I feel like I've just been around to feed her and then that's it. You know, I don't really feel like I've had a chance to, to start learning what it is that I need to be doing to be doing this for the rest of my life. Next time, adventurous couple Amy and Glenn show baby Mako the important things in life. <laughs> Harry says goodbye to her dignity. This is what my life's become. And it's date night for Daddy Damien. You know, you miss me a lot and I miss you, and I just, it's just, it's good to catch up and, yeah. and have a nice dinner together. Yeah.